In this video, we're going to talk about the formation of a cyanohydrin from a ketone. So let's begin with the overall chemical reaction. So here we have a ketone, specifically acetone, and we're going to react it with HCN, hydrogen cyanide. The ketone functional group will be converted into a hydroxyl group with the addition of a nitrile group. And so this molecule is called a cyanohydrin. Now let's talk about the mechanism by which we can get this product. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use excess cyanide and a small amount of HCl. Some of the cyanide ions will pick up a proton from HCl, turn it into hydrogen cyanide, and we're going to get the chloride ion. So keep in mind, we have a large amount of cyanide, a small amount of HCl, and so we're going to get a small amount of HCN. So starting with the ketone functional group, which the oxygen has two lone pairs, we're going to take the cyanide ion, and as the nucleophile, it's going to be attracted to the carbonyl group. Keep in mind, the carbon atom has a partial positive charge, whereas the cyanide ion has a negative charge, so they're attracted to each other. So as the nucleophile attacks the carbonyl carbon, the pi electrons in this double bond are going to break, and they're going to be pulled back to oxygen, because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. And so what we're going to get right now is an alkoxide ion with a nitrile group attached to it. Now, in the next step, the alkoxide ion is going to be a pro let me say that again. The alkoxide ion will be protonated by HCN. So it's going to grab a hydrogen, regenerating the cyanide ion. And so the end result is a cyanohydrin molecule. And so that's the mechanism for this reaction.